And then again, since it's yin, if you have a block and a bolster, that would be great. If you don't, that's also completely fine. You can be on your backs, <clears throat> soles of your feet together, knees out wide, starting to connect with the breath. Breathing into a four count, holding to a four count, and exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies, as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, <clears throat> hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. <clears throat> allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore, and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. <clears throat> and as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. Mm -hmm. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale as you roll over onto the right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. And again, we're going to be doing yin with yoga nidra. So we'll do some yin first and then <laughs> transition to yoga nidra. Using the strength of your arms, 
Move up to a seated position, facing the front of the room. Extend your legs, flex your feet, sit up straight, roll those shoulders back and down your backs. And then from here, inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale as you open up to the right wall. And again, drag those shoulders back and down. Drag that left elbow on the outside of your right knee if this is in your practice. You can also place it on the inside of your knees or on the outside of your left knee. And again, as we do this, open your hearts to the side wall, dragging those shoulders back and down. Maybe make mudras with both sets of fingers, breathing in and out. Opening up those right obliques, releasing any toxins that we may be holding there. <laughs> and smile, it's Tuesday. Slowly inhale back to center and exhale as you open up to the left. And again, drag that right elbow outside your left knee. Open your hearts to the side wall through the breath, dragging those shoulders back and down. Opening up those left obliques this time and smile. Again, you can have your elbow on the outside of your left knee, on the inside of your knees, or on the outside of your right knee, breathing in and out. Slowly inhale back to center. Exhale, reach, reach, reach. Flat back, hinge at the hips as far as you can with the flat back and then place your hands on either side of your calves. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, down, chin to shin. And then just curl in again in Dandasana. Staff pose, breathing in and out.
Again, as you breathe in, find where there's resistance in the body. As you breathe out, breathe that resistance out. Let's do two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend your left knee, dragging your left heel in, flex that right foot. Inhale, both arms all the way up. And exhale, reach, 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 reach. All the way down this time, chin to shin. And then just curl in. In half Dandasana, half staff pose. Again, breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back. Again. Exhale as you draw that right knee to your left knee, twist to the back of the room. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk your hands forward, placing that right cheek on the block. Again, breathing in and out, twisting our hips our spines, our shoulders, and our necks.
Let's take two more deep breaths here in and out. Then slowly inhale as you walk your hands back again. And exhale as you bend your legs in front of you. Shake them out. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend your right knee, dragging your right heel in. Flex that left foot. Inhale both arms all the way up. And exhale, pull forward, hinge in the hips, reach, 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 we're going all the way down, chin to shin, and then just curl in. Again, in half dandasana, breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as we walk those hands back again. Exhale as you draw that left knee to your right knee. Twist to the back of the throne. Inhale first. And exhale as you walk those hands forward. Placing your left cheek on the block. And again, twisting, releasing toxins as you do. Dragging your hearts down towards the mat through the breath. Let's take two more deep breaths here, in and out. And 
then slowly inhale as you walk your hands back again. Exhale as you extend your legs and shake them out. Good job. Come up to the tops of your mats if you can them. Just stretch out our core. Place your hands on your knees. Inhale that left arm all the way up. Exhale down onto that right elbow. And again, look up towards the ceiling. Drag your left shoulder back and down. Drag your left hip down and smile. Inhale back to center. Exhale first. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale down onto the left elbow. And again, drag that right shoulder back and down. Drag your right hip down. Open up those right obliques and smile. Inhale back to center. And then from here, we're going to start moving down on our backs once again. Make sure that you have a blanket to keep warm, as well as a pillow for your head, as well as a block or bolster for your knees, or else just place the soles of your feet as wide as the mat knees together. Maybe an eye pillow. Again, I'll be turning off the video. I'm going to restart the playlist. And um, you can certainly turn off your video if you'd like as well. Don't feel like you have to. And again, start getting settled. Most important thing is a pillow for your heads because the mat can get really hard after a while. I'm going to restart the playlist and then I will get started in about 30 seconds or so. It is time for yoga nidra. You should be lying on your back with the knees slightly bent and supported. Make sure that you are warm enough and that your position is one that will be comfortable for the duration of the practice. It is best that you remain still during yoga nidra so that both your body and your brain have a chance to fully relax. However, if you become uncomfortable, please feel free to change position. Allow your eyes to close and keep them closed until the practice has ended. The practice of yoga nidra is a practice of yogic sleep that will guide you to the hypnagogic state, a state of consciousness between wakefulness and sleeping. Try to remain awake by listening to the sound of my voice. You will be asked 
to move your awareness to various bodily sensations, emotions, and images. Try not to concentrate too intensely, as this may prevent you from relaxing. During this meditation, please use and absorb what you need in the moment and leave the rest behind. If the mind becomes overactive with thoughts and worries, just come back to the sound of my voice. Become aware of any sounds you can hear in this moment. Nothing else but what you can hear without strain. Begin to focus on the most distant sounds that you can hear. Let your sense of hearing radiate outward, searching out these distant sounds and following them for a few moments. Move your attention from sound to sound without labeling the source. Gradually bring your attention to closer sounds, the sounds outside your home, the sounds inside your home, the sounds inside the room. Without opening your eyes, visualize the four walls of your room, the ceiling, the floor, your body lying on the floor. Visualize your body lying on the floor, the position of your body, your clothes, your hair, your face. Become acutely aware of the existence of your physical body lying on the floor. Become aware of your natural breath. Become aware of your natural and spontaneous breath that moves in and out of your body without any effort. The natural breath flows in through both nostrils. Notice the feeling of the breath as it comes in and out of your nostrils. There is a sense of coolness as you inhale the breath. Follow this feeling into your nose, your sinuses, the back of your throat into your lungs. There is a sense of warmth as you exhale the breath. Feel this warmth on your upper lip as you breathe out. The natural breath flows through both nostrils during the inhale and the exhale. Allow your breath to become longer and slower. Take a long, slow inhalation. Followed by a longer, slower exhalation. Make your exhale even slower. Notice the slight pause after the exhale. Slow inhale, 
even slower exhale and pause. Feel the urge to breathe in, bubble up inside of you. When you need to inhale, please do so. Long, slow inhale. Longer, slower exhale. And then pause where the body is neither breathing in nor out. Please continue breathing in this way. Now go back to the natural easy breath, releasing any control over the inhale or exhale. The practice of Yoga Nidra begins now. At this moment, you should make your sankalpa or intention. The sankalpa should be a short, positive statement in simple language. Try to discover one naturally. Please mentally state your sankalpa clearly and with awareness three times. The sankalpa you make during yoga nidra plants a seed in the fertile soil of your mind to bring about transformation and healing. Also, say to yourself, I am practicing yoga nidra. I am awake and relaxed. We will now begin a systematic journey of sensory awareness throughout the body. You will move your awareness to different parts of your body as soon as you hear them named. Please say the name of the part to yourself and feel that part of your body, but do not move any part. The practice begins on the right side. Right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist. Forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, thigh, knee. Half, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, Third toe, 
fourth toe, fifth toe, left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, waist, hip, thigh, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, Now go to the back of the body, right heel, left heel, right calf, left calf, right thigh, left thigh, right buttock, left buttock, lower back, middle back, upper back, the entire spine. right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, back of the neck, back of the head, top of the head, forehead, right temple, left temple, right ear, left ear, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, middle of the eyebrows, right eye, left eye, right nostril, left nostril, right cheek, left cheek, upper lip, lower lip, both lips together, chin, jaw, throat, right collarbone, 
left collarbone, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, upper abdomen, navel, lower abdomen, right groin, left groin, the pelvic floor, the whole right leg, the whole left leg, the whole right arm, the whole left arm, the whole face, the whole head, the whole torso, the whole body, the whole body, the whole body. Now imagine the whole body becoming light, as though your body could float away from the floor and toward the ceiling. The head is light and weightless. The limbs are light and weightless. The torso is light and weightless. The whole body light and weightless. You are rising higher and higher away from the floor. Imagine your body becoming heavy. Feel the heaviness in all parts of the body. Each part is becoming heavier and heavier and heavier. The head is heavy. The limbs are heavy. The torso is heavy. The whole body is heavy. So heavy that it is sinking down into the floor. Awaken the experience of cold in the body, the experience of chilly cold. Imagine being outside in winter without enough clothing. You feel this chill permeating your entire body. Now allow the sensation of warmth to spread throughout the entire body. Remember the feeling of heat in summer when you are out in the sun with no shade. You feel heat radiating onto your skin, heat all around the body. Begin to concentrate on the space in front of your closed eyelids. Imagine before you a transparent screen as though you were at the movie theater. The screen is as high and as wide as the eyes can see. Concentrate on this mind screen and become aware of any phenomena that manifests within it. Colors, patterns, and light. Whatever you see is the manifesting state of your mind. 
Continue your awareness of this space, but do not become involved. Practice detached awareness only. If any subtle images make themselves known, simply notice them without directing the images. If thoughts occur, let them come and go, but continue watching the dark space. Continue this with detached awareness. Now, a number of different things will be named, and you should envision them on the level of emotion, memory, and imagination as best you can. Jump from image to image as soon as you hear it. Red desert. Peacock feather. Buddha meditating, the touch of a loved one, a good night's rest, a full moon, a bouquet of flowers, a babbling brook. Cool, clear water, a relaxing afternoon, a warm embrace, a path in the woods, a vibrant sunset. A beautiful garden path. Your favorite song. The sound of my voice. Your body lying on the floor. It is time to repeat your sankalpa. Please repeat the same statement made at the beginning of the practice three times mentally now. Finish with the line, I am whole, healed, and healthy. Come back to the feeling of your breath flowing in and out of your nostrils. Maintain your awareness of breath and at the same time develop your awareness of your physical body. Your body is relaxed and lying on the floor. Feel the container of your skin and the clothes and props that are touching you. Notice the heaviness of your body as it rests on the floor and take your awareness into all the points that are touching the floor. The back of your heels, your thighs, your buttocks, your shoulder blades, your arms, your hands, and your head. Do not open your eyes yet, but visualize the surrounding room. Imagine where you are in the room and the other objects that are around you. Lie quietly until you feel ready to move. When you are ready, slowly roll over onto the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths.
Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position, facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed. Hands are in Anjali Mudra. Heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Tuesday. Tomorrow is the start of a new month. Thank you all for those who have sent in your PayPal payments as well as your checks. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste. Thank you all. It's great to see you today. I will definitely see you tomorrow. Hope everybody has a wonderful day and, and have a great rest of, uh, well, and I guess that I will first stop the recording.